We saw drivers stranded along the roads. That was one of the biggest issues for, for AAA today. Taking a look at some video here along I-75 this morning. Uh, you know, so frustrating for drivers out there dealing with the situation. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco is live in Covington right now at this hour. Courtney, how are the roads looking there? The roads are looking much better on this side of the river, Craig. We just got out here, but... Everything looks good in the Covington, in the city part, but I have not made it out south into all the neighborhoods. I saw a lot more spin outs in Cincinnati, that's for sure. One man was stuck in traffic for five hours today. Work continued for Ken Wallace after he spent five hours stranded on Interstate 75. There were wrecks all over the place. I seen cars this morning, two wheel drive car, rear wheel drive cars. Not for this. He picked his wife up from work at the post office around 3 a.m. when they reached the Hopple Street exit on Interstate 75. And everything just came to a stop. A semi was jackknifed ahead. Rescue crews had to work around traffic, and Wallace did not get home until 8.30 in the morning. And I brought two coats, another one of these coats, and I brought two pops, and I had a full tank of gas. Luckily, plows are still working to clear streets downtown in Lebanon and Morrow. People are blowing off sidewalks and clearing driveways to get out, but they expect to have to do it again tomorrow. On the bright side, we saw beautiful scenery and families are prepared for more downtime in the morning. Our grandkids are super ecstatic, so I'm sure we'll be trying to find a hill somewhere. Cars, on the other hand, might want to avoid the inclines. I fishtailed a couple times in that, even when four wheel drive. You mentioned that level one emergency snow alert in Kenton County. Here that means no cars can park on public streets in Kenton County. That does not apply to Covington.